This video shows how the Google Analytics and WordPress plugin uses Google's OAuth process. To demonstrate, let's first go ahead and enable the plugin. Now, the plugin will need to get its information from Google Analytics, and in order to do that, we'll need to OAuth, uh, get OAuth keys to connect in. And to do that, we click Authorize Plugin, and then we get an access code, and this is where we're going to run through our OAuth permissions. And what's important is that we're OAuthing as a particular person who needs access to your Google Analytics. Um, and as we do that, we'll also, we're going to be requesting the Google Analytics read-only scope so that we can pull that data back into our WordPress website. So as we do that, we get this code. And what this code is going to allow us to do is as we put it into the website, it allows us to go back to, Google, uh, to Google's APIs and request the access keys. And these access keys are stored in your website. So they're not stored in any other third-party system or anything like that, so that only your website has access to the keys to get a hold of your Google Analytics information. So now when we sell, uh, click the Save Access Code, that's going to go ahead and pull in the access codes that we need to get Google Analytics information, and it also pulls in a list of all the profiles that this person that we've authorized uh, has access to. And so this allows us to select a profile, which will now embed a tracking ID that matches that profile on our WordPress website, so the data is getting pushed in. And we lock that in. Now, if we ever want to clear out our authorization or change the person that we're authorizing, we can use this clear authorization button, and then all of our OAuth keys are all deleted out of our, out of our WordPress site. Now, one of the reasons we also want to establish an OAuth connection is to pull data from Google Analytics back into the website so that we can produce reports like these that we have on the dashboard. So if we look down here, oh, this is just a test account, so there's nothing that exciting about it, but we are now pulling data from our Google Analytics, so we can look at that data in Google Analytics, or we can look at the, or people who are uh, looking into, the, connecting to the website can look at the data using these dashboard reports inside of your WordPress site. 